In this video, we are going to see the computer architecture in simple terms. Before going to the video, subscribe to my channel in and around computer. Before going into the architecture of a computer, we can see some terms related to that bit, which is the binary digit, or that is 1 or a 0. It's the smallest unit of memory. And instruction is a single operation of a processor, or it can be any representation of an element of an executable computer program. Computer program is a collection of instructions that perform a specific task when executed by a computer. And data, which is fed to the computer to be processed through the instructions of a computer program. And you can see the definition of a computer architecture, which is the set of rules and methods that describe the functionality, organization, and implementation of computer systems. You can say it as this is the specification de detailing how a set of uh, software and hardware technology standards interact to form a computer system. And uh, the description of how the components of a computer were interconnected and how they function together was published by uh, John von uh, Neumann. And this arrangement was called as von Neumann architecture. So this architecture is the basis of the most general purpose computers which are used today. So this is the uh, von Neumann architecture which has the uh, control central processing unit which has the control unit arithmetic logical unit and registers and the um, and then it's the memory unit and input and output device you can see how these are interconnected so first we can see the main component which is the central processing unit which is responsible for executing the instructions of a computer program referred to as a processor and this contains three major parts that is uh, ALU that is arithmetic logic units that carry out basic mathematical operations and control unit that tells the computer's memory arithmetic logical unit input and output devices how to respond to instructions that have been sent to the processor and the processor registers uh, which are the uh, temporary storage for operands and intermediate results in complex calculations and which can uh, the registers are of uh, the, the, the many types that the first one is the memory address register that contains the address of the memory location currently in use and the memory data register that uh, contains the data currently being transferred to and from the memory and accumulator where intermediate arithmetic and logical results are stored and the program counter which contains the address of the next instruction to be executed and the current instruction register which stores uh, and reads uh, the current uh, instruction from the memory and this is about the uh, parts of the uh, CPU and then comes the memory this uh, memory unit is sometimes referred to as the primary or a uh, main memory which consists of a uh, collection of locations each of which is capable of storing both instructions and data. Every location consists of an address which is used to access the location and the contents of location and the instructions or data stored in the location. And the internal structure of the main uh, the memory unit is uh, specified by the number of words, which are where words means the data is organized into words, which may consist of 4, 8, 16, 32 uh, or more bits, which are treated as a single unit by the computer hardware and the number of bits in each word. And this is about the memory and uh, Next, we can go to the input and output device and these are the devices such as keyboard, pointers, card readers uh, and printers and these are and are allocated specific memory locations for moving in data in and out of the computer memory. And then you can see uh, the buses. Uh, buses are nothing but the da uh, data is transmitted from one part of the computer to another connecting all major internal components to the CPU and memory by means of buses. So it is the connect 
connection component so which connects the various parts of the computer and these are known as buses there uh, they are of three types one is the data bus it carries data among the mem memory units the io devices and the processor and the address bus which contain carries the address of the data and um, between memory and the processor so the control bus this uh, carries control commands from the cpu and status signals from other devices in order to control and coordinate all activities within the computer and enhancements coming to the enhancements that is various enhancements to this or basic or architectural idea made in memory and instruction execution have led to tremendous improvements in the performance of computer system but this von neumann architecture is the uh, uh, basis for all the architecture and the future architectures will continue to be based on this uh, architecture proposed by von Neumann but various enhancements are done. So the study of uh, computer architecture has three main subcategories. First one is the instruction set architecture. Now till this time we have seen the uh, basic uh, von Neumann architecture and uh, going deep into the architecture it, there comes three main subcategories of the architecture first one is the instruction set architecture which is responsible for defining the set of instructions to be supported by the processor the next one is the micro architecture which is the description of electrical circuitry of a computer is the uh, central processing unit and next one is the system design is the process of defining the architecture modules interfaces and data for a system to satisfy specified requirements this also includes a dma that is di direct memory access and other uh, issues such as virtualization multiprocessing and software features in this video we are not going to see about the micro architecture and the system design we are only going to see what is an instruction set architecture computer is just a bunch of silicon and metal stuck together which is the hardware it is the software that really makes the computer to interact with us so it is the software that makes the computer to interact with us so the software must have some way to talk to the hardware to process the input this is where this instruction set architecture comes in so when a computer uh, pro uh, software program is written it is written in a manner that is easy for the humans to understand understand so it is necessary to translate the programs into a language that the computer can understand so uh, this is what is uh, done by this uh, instruction set architecture this uh, instruction set architecture provides all information about the hardware to write a program in machine language or to translate from a high level language to machine uh, language. So this ISA only provides that this instruction set provide uh, architecture provides all the information about the hardware to write a program in machine language or to translate we can say a uh, translate from a high level language to machine language. This we can see in detail. Uh, this levels of translation is done like this uh, that is a program uh, is written by a human in a high level language uh, that is uh, he can understand so that that is uh, that could be in c c plus plus java fortran and this compiler uh, comes in place and it come uh, uh, translates the high level language into the assembly level language that is assembly language it is the uh, it contains the architecture specific statements like uh, uh, load um, uh, load r1 comma b that is given in this example and uh, the high level language uh, this is the language that humans can understand so this is converted into this assembly level language then the assembler converts this um, assembly code into the machine code that is uh, nothing but the zeros and ones that is the architecture specific bit patterns so this we can clearly understand 
how where the instruction set architecture comes in place first we we are writing a program in c the compiler converts this uh, high level language into assembly level language the assembler in turn convert in turn converts the assembly code in the uh, uh, into uh, zeros and ones so this instruction set architecture defines how an assembler uh, uh, assembly code should be converted to uh, zeros and ones uh, by the assembler in what way it should convert uh, so that the particular hardware uh, understood understands the uh, zeros and ones sequence that is determined by this instruction set architecture since this instruction set architecture uh, defines the uh, specifications of the particular hardware so this uh, is the detailed uh, diagram of this uh, instruction set architecture where it comes in place and uh, this and can explain it further that is it is res the isa is responsible for de defining the set of instructions to be supported by the processor this the instruction set specifies the processor's functionality so what operations it supports, uh, what storage mechanisms it has and how are they accessed, how the programmer or compiler can communicate programs to the uh, processor, this and all are specified in the instruction set. Uh, instruction set. So the instruction set also uh, has all that has to be visible for the software. So it, uh, the instruction set has the memory organization specifications for the memory organizations that is uh, address space how many uh, how locations can be addressed uh, sorry it is written may many uh, that is many addressability how many bits uh, per location and register set which is the place to store a collection of bits and how many registers are there in this particular hardware and what uh, what is the size of that and how are they used so and uh, um, uh, data operations that is arithmetic what are the operations supported by the by that particular hardware that also is specified in this instruction set and the data transfer operations and what are all the operation data transfer operations present in this uh, particular hardware so based on this, this the assembler will convert the uh, assembly code into the machine code which is understood by that particular hardware. And, uh, as I already said, based on the instruction set, the compiler converts the high level uh, program into the assembly program. The assembler then converts the basic commands and operations from assembly code and converts them into zeros and one based on this instruction format part of this instruction set architecture. This machine code can then be directly executed by the particular hardware. So, in, important uh, aspect of this instruction set architecture uh, is the design of the instruction set for the processor. The instruction set for a particular computer determines the way that machine language programs are constructed and same instruction set is not used by for all the processes. That is, all the processes will not have the same instruction set. This instruction set varies with the CPUs. So there are uh, two styles of CPU design nowadays, uh, reduced instruction set computer and complex instruction set computer. And reduced has a small, um, highly optimized set of instructions and uh, one instruction takes only one clock cycle and uh, this uh, instructions are of same size and fixed format and this a complex instruction set uh, computer has larger instruction set and complicated instructions are built into hardware and instructions may uh, can take multiple clock cycle and instructions are of variable length and has instructions are of uh, in variable length so hope you understood the all the concepts uh, based on this uh, instruction set architecture Subscribe to my channel if you feel contented, like and share my videos with your friends.